Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rival Stars Horse Racing, where finally, 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 after what feels like weeks of training, we have got Enchanting Penguin up and ready to go for another very special story challenge we actually had for a conspic conspicuous consumer who I am beginning to think might be Calthrope himself, actually buying our horses out from under us to make his stock even better, uh, wanting to sell a horse with sprint energy stat of 135 or above and oh my gosh is that ever so hard you guys <laughs> look at this 51 races we have had to go on with enchanting penguin in order to train him high enough level that we could get that speed stat to where we wanted it oh my gosh it took forever but i am so happy that we have finally completed that and you know what it was perfect to do because it let some time pass before the foals are gonna be born you guys oh my gosh i can't wait for that but before we go ahead and have our foals born let's complete what challenges we have in the story mode because who knows we might need to have like for our conspicuous consumer a special type of horse born so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we're not going to have the foals until there's no other quest assigned to it so let's see what's going on now slight and flight Pop by to say I read about your little training program recently. Prove me wrong if you can, but for me, it simply isn't up to scratch. So we have actually run over 24,000 meters over multiple races. I trained up a horse to level 20 in acceleration, trained speed 16 times. So take that, Calthrope! Guess your trainer's a little better than I thought. How about that? Darn right, we've got the best training program in the business. I wouldn't go that far. I'm not saying you're you're not any good. Uh, I'm not saying you're any good. Quite the contrary. Whatever. Oh my goodness. Like, why does the man just like show up and start start insulting everybody in my group? Like, that's so rude, sir. If you have some sort of beef with somebody, you should isolate your beef to one cow, not the entire herd. All right. If you think you've got any chance to get me against me at my favorite track, you are sadly mistaken. So we need to race our rival at Sakura Valley, placing third or better. So we'll definitely do that in just a second, but let's go ahead and see. TJ's probably offended by all that and wants to do better with the training. You've got to admit, Francis, these supplies are going to help a bunch. I'll admit they're useful, but we're going to need a whole lot more. All right, we're training up. We're doing it, you guys. Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and see the horses born and we'll get the speed stat and we'll see what else we might have to do for our rival rumble. All right. Oh, it's time, you guys. It's time. So we have Peach Curiosity foaling right now with her amazing stripes over her face. I don't think we were breeding her with avocado onion. Do you guys remember avocado onion? I can't believe we got such an amazing horse named avocado freaking onion last time. Like what a name. What a face. What a pedigree full of all sorts of beautiful spots and dots that I'm really hoping might do something impressive for us. And it is the first time we have had some fresh blood actually living in our stables in a little while. So I'm hoping his kids will turn out well. We didn't, I don't think we bred him with anybody at the moment, but we have Peach Curiosity, Autumn's Fable, and of course, Extra Eclair, ready to have their foals. Still hoping for a level six beautiful heavenly asteroid spot from ex from Extra Eclair or from Autumn's Fable, but we'll have to see. Well, let's, let's do our little mystery foal first. A little peach curiosity. Oh, how lovely. We don't really have that red coloring in here. Oh, and he's a colt. Welcome, little guy. You are quite handsome. Unfortunately, not the, the one I was hoping for with spots and dots, but that's okay. Also, we need to sell a horse at the moment. Hmm. Well, we're gonna need to sell Enchanting Penguin anyway, so we'll go ahead and do that, even though he's our stud. Uh, but we're gonna do it. Goodbye, Enchanting Penguin. I had to do it anyway for the quest. Oh, and that brings us a new difficult weirdo. I am not going to name him difficult weirdo. Opulent Circus, Feature Millionaire. Uh, let's see. Outrageous Dodo. Oh my gosh. Town Plate, Barcode Level, Elf's Bleep, Blush Begonia, Party Past, Transparent Apron, Caramel Crowd. We'll go with Caramel Crowd. 
He does have that vibrant red color that we don't really have a lot of, but I don't know if we'll keep him or not. We'll have to see. Uh, meanwhile, did that complete some of my story things? It did. All right, Francis, tell me all about it. Looks like that horse is headed to a nice ranch. Oh, that's so good. Awkward penguin. I worked so hard for hours on that horse. So I'm going to miss him. Oh, dear. And it looks like Calthrope actually wants to go ahead and, like, mess around with us a little bit more. So we'll need to spend some time with him. All right. I think we'll go ahead. Balancing Unicorn and Caramel Crowd. Caramel Crowd, as cool as your pedigree is, and as awesome as it is that we... Do we have, like... We do have some of his color with avocado now. So I think we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to sell Caramel Crowd. Fun experiment. Didn't get quite as dramatic as I was thinking it might, but very fun experiment. And we'll also have Balancing Unicorn find a new home. Even though I would have liked to try to breed her a little bit more, but we need the room for the new foals. All right, and speaking of which, Extra Eclair, are you going to give us that level six asteroid full, heavenly asteroid full that we want? Oh no, darn. A new cult, he's very lovely. He's level five too. Turbulent Dilemma sounds like a perfect name for the fact that we do have some Turbulent Dilemmas. Trying very hard to go ahead and get some like different coloring going on. Turbulent Dilemma, you are beautiful, but we're gonna go ahead and we have a new home for you. Ah, giving me a dilemma of what to do with all of these genetics that we're still finagling. All right, Autumn's Fable, come on. It's all on you now, girl. Come on, Autumn's Fable, you can do it. Yes, yes, please, Six, please, please. No! It happened again! Again, friends! Oh, Universal Down! Oh my gosh. Maybe, let's see, Angel Chase, Embarrassing Evening, Problem Polish, Best Solar Strike, Science Shell, Feature Rainbow, Theoretical Torpedo, Blossoms Duchess. We'll go with Blossoms Duchess. That's a beautiful name. Oh, she's gorgeous, you guys. She truly is. Oh my goodness. However, she is not quite what we were going for. She is Autumn's Fable's, like, identical daughter, though. So that's wonderful. Not quite what we were going for, but wonderful. <sighs> All right. Well, at least we know, in theory, we can still end up with our spots. So knowing that, <gasps> look at this guy, beat Nick's fingerprint. He's just covered in spots. Let's actually try breeding Blossom's Duchess uh, just to see. And Beatnik's Fingerprint. What a name. Why not? There's Beatnik's Fingerprint. Ooh, Triumphant Feast. Another black horse. We might breed him up against uh, our wonderful Fragment because she has a good coloring. All right, we'll try breeding these two. And then let's come over with... Let's see. Let's do Autumn's Fable again. Let's, let's have Autumn's Fable and her daughter both have Beatnik's child and we'll see how that turns out and meanwhile if i'm going to be breeding horses just for fun just to see what happens let's actually grab whisper tiramisu would be amazing um let's see who do i want radish streamer maybe i could have sworn we had a black horse i think it's a boy oh is our black horse a boy okay well let's try a whisper tiramisu cactus conclusion what's your pedigree Interesting, but I don't think quite what we're going for. Triumphant Feast. Hmm. Apparently black horses are really unusual. Music's Myth has some interesting patterns and colors, but I don't know if we'd get what we wanted. All right, let me look at that black horse we have. Because we have Radish Dreamer. Fabulous Fragment. You are a stallion. Interesting. He's actually not related. Oh, and he looks just like Radish Dreamer. Oh, I see. Interesting. Well, I set him as a stud and we kind of breed him with Radish Dreamer, but he's literally identical to a Radish Dreamer. So I think we'll go ahead and we're actually going to have Whisper Tiramisu breed us something random and we're just going to see what happens. So let's bring... 
Cafe Princess. Let's bring Outlaw Chase, Whisper Tiramisu, and oh, oh no, the stallions reset. <gasps> we were just there. Oh my gosh. Well, we have ship score. Oh wow, ship score. Oh, he's like a totally white horse. Apparently, that's like very uncommon. So maybe I should breed him against one of our girls. Blog Giraffe. This guy has the name Giraffe, though, you guys. Oh, I can't resist that. That's just too much. I, I have to go ahead. We've got to see what this giraffe will give us. But you know what? Let's breed him against Heavenly Asteroid. Well, no, not Heavenly Asteroid. Let's do... Uh, let's see. We Extra Eclair. We're going desperate now. We've got all asteroids in the full. You know what? This actually is the better odds, isn't it? <gasps> oh, this is the best odds in order to go ahead and get the like horse that we're going for. So we have some Autumn Asteroid Hopes and Dreams. Okay, maybe that is going to actually help us out. But all right, guys, let's see if we can go ahead and place third or better at Sakura Valley in our rival race. We're going to go ahead and we'll bring in our wonderful abstract adventure who is currently capped out. Let's see. In fact, let's go ahead. Let's give abstract adventure a skill before we do this to try to help him become like really, really, really good. Uh, 45 fast percent faster charge rate, charge for sprint units, get perfect at the starting gate. Hmm. In the zone, 50%. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go with strong starter. And we're going to equip it because we're going to win this on Abstract Adventure. There we go. And we're going to win this race. We can do this, you guys. All right. Abstract Adventure. Let's beat this guy. We totally thrashed him last time we raised him. So I'm sure that we're going to thrash him this time and teach him. Oh, look at all the cherry blossoms and teach him to like calm down and apparently this is his favorite like race excitement building here at you just Secure need to relax Valley. how could you like Both enjoy the beauty of of rude. all the things that are around Abstract you right now adventure. if you're so stressed out and rude an oh look at all those pretty horses i wonder who we're gonna be like racing name wise this time all right Up and oh, dang it. legitimate line takes charge early Okay. Our sprint is really charging quickly. I'm not going to complain about that. We need to pull up against the fence, which is apparently over here. We are not going to be outstripped. Look, Abstract's already pulling ahead. I'm so proud of him. He's doing a good job. I know I'm using some of our sprint, but when we've got it so it's charging, oh geez. Alright, I don't want to waste too much of it, but I had to try to get us back over here. Okay, I want to push ourselves up front. Okay, don't, don't waste energy don't waste energy oh why does he always have the horses with those gorgeous like tails those lovely lovely gray tails beautiful black coats at least he seems to take good care of his horses can't complain about that all right come on come on we've got this abstract adventure at the very least i think we'll at least place third abstract adventure needs to get more comfortable what do you mean Abstract Adventure needs to get more comfortable? Don't you sass me! We're gonna do just fine! Fine, just fine, friends! Alright, come on. He's insulting, like, all of our horses. We can't let that happen. Is there someone called Sad Salad Brontosaurus? I absolutely want that name for one of our horses in the future. Oh, I was not sprinting perfectly. Sandwich Brontosaurus? What a name! Oh, Abstract Adventure controlling the race! I like to hear that! Come on. Come on. No! No, we were so close! Oh my gosh, we were like 0. 0.3 seconds difference! Curse him! I can't believe you nearly beat me. Well, actually, that seemed to make Calthrope even angrier, so I'll take it! And look at that! 900 experience points! Good, do good job, Abstract Adventure. I am sure that he could have he could have gotten that. We did it, you guys! 
Huh, I think I saw a Calthrope ripping his hair out after that race. No, I wasn't. At least I've still got hair. What a very sad thing to say. I've got hair. Now you're just trying to anger me. This is just turning into like a, a schoolyard brawl. It's absolutely silly. All right. We've got Lincoln Abbey soon. We're going to need just the right horse for the job. Breed or buy a horse with a medium at track surface preference. Well, considering the fact we have three foals on the way, I think that bodes well for what the near future might have, friends. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure as we continue to try to carry our heavenly asteroids forward. And if you would like to join me on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.